Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 14th through the 15th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see what we've got going on for you guys today. Please show me messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What messages about love? Do Sagittarius need to hear today? Sagittarius. Mm, Eight of Pentacles. What I'm getting from this is that a lot of you guys have been working on yourselves here. Okay, you've been you've been working hard, not only on yourself, but I'm I'm getting that you know you've also. Um, are wanting to rebuild a connection here, Contem contemplating um, offering something, or either somebody's contemplating offering something to you. Um, I'm feeling like somebody needed to kind of like reevaluate um, some things, okay? In a connection here, King of Swords flipped out. Mm -hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Definitely have been contemplating um, on how to offer something or how to rebuild something, restructure something here. Okay. And then the star. Somebody has done a lot of work. Okay. They've been working on themselves. They've been healing. Um, they've been trying to figure some things out uh, where the other person is concerned here. Strong Aquarius um, energy is here. Okay. I'm getting that somebody was trying to move on. They were trying to um, move forward without the other person. But... There, there's something that has transpired that um, the other person is concentrating on how to actually rebuild a connection I'm feeling with you guys or either you guys are feeling this way about someone. Okay, let's see. What do we have for the Eight of Pentacles? Please show me more about the Eight of Pentacles. Temperance, that's your card. Definitely working to try to you know get back on your feet or get um or get some stability in your life some happiness in your life just trying to figure some things out here is what i'm feeling like um but you know what i'm getting too is that this is a shared energy of wanting to rebuild a connection want to work on it okay want to work things out with the other person I'm getting this is a shared energy between the two of you. Please show me more about the King of Swords here. Show me more about the King of Swords. Two of Swords. Mm -hmm. Somebody is thinking and thinking and thinking and really trying to figure out how to work with the other individual um, basically in two minds being indecisive kind of going back and forth still feeling kind of guarded but at the same time wanting to rebuild something here wanting to work on something here um, I'm getting that this air energy is it, they may come across a little stubborn um, they may be a workaholic. They may come across um, really aloof. They do have emotions and feelings, but they don't exhibit them in a way like somebody with water energy would. Okay. They they often act like things don't phase them. Okay. So let's see. Please show me more about the star. Please show me more about the star. King of Cups. I'm getting this person is definitely changing. Okay. Um, whereas they may have been, 
you know, really kind of shut off and really kind of, you know, everything they had to like reason out, um, didn't show a lot of emotion. I'm getting that this person is changing. Okay. Um, realizing that the other person probably needed them to show more emotionally here. Okay. I don't really get that you guys are speaking. Maybe you are, but what I'm getting is that you're on the same plane as far as thinking about this connection, but I'm, I'm getting that this is, this is like this, um, retrograde energy. Okay. So this is the time to really think about things, think about what you want, um, to not really do much. Okay. Wait till the retrograde is over, um, before you guys do anything. Okay. Because usually when you make decisions during a retrograde, <laughs> that communication thing, when you make decisions during a retrograde, um, a lot of the time when the retrograde is over, basically so is the decision that you made. So you definitely don't want to make like really life changing decisions during a retrograde. Okay. So anyway, I see both of you guys like, um, on the same plane. Okay. Who's coming towards Sagittarius here? That's Scorpio energy. I feel strong there. Um, so they may have Scorpio in their chart. I feel strong. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe, um, Virgo energies here in Scorpio. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Ace of Cups. Somebody that is healed. Somebody that knows what it means to love and be loved at this point is what I'm getting here. Okay. And the King of Cups again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling like this is somebody that definitely is thinking about you guys as you guys are thinking about this person. Um, and they have, they've healed. They're working on themselves, but they're not concentrating heavily on physically getting back together. Okay. Um, I think that, or I'm not going to say that they're not trying to make any moves right now is, is the thing they are not trying to make any offers right now. Okay. They're still thinking about this heavily. Um, they're working a lot. I feel thinking about how this can happen. I'm thinking they're, they're more feeling the connection and, and strategizing at this point. Okay. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? There was a lot of disappointment um, between you and this individual. And I'm feeling like, you know, there's still something that is bothering this person. Okay. Could be bothering you guys as well because you're here. But, um, a lot of times, even when someone, let's say somebody cheats on you. Okay. You are the one that feels that hurt so very deeply. But once you actually can move past that, get over that, heal from that, it'll stay with you, but you don't focus on it nearly as much once you're over it as the person that actually did that to you, because they are the ones that have to live with the fact that they messed up. So I'm feeling strongly that there's an energy of energy here of somebody that has really like messed up feeling like that four of swords now. Okay. Which is coming after the three of swords energy. I'm feeling like there's somebody here that has definitely taken the time out to heal or either they're on the tail end of it. Okay. It doesn't hurt nearly as badly as it did initially, but 
um, it's still there. Okay. So again, Aquarius, um, Libra energy is here. Scorpio's here. Virgo. Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody, I, I'm feeling like they, either you or the other individual. And I keep saying that because I want to be clear because a lot of times people get in the comments and like, oh, they did that. I didn't do this. But somebody here did some some deceitful crap, okay? Which basically tore the other person to pieces when it happened. But the other person is getting over this. They're getting past this. And, and what I'm getting here is that that opens up the energy. Once you can kind of let go of that hurt, then it flows, okay? And that is why both of you guys, I feel like, are in this space on this same plane where you're kind of thinking about, you know, taking accountability for some things here. Not making any action, but really thinking about what went wrong is what I'm getting, okay? So that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.